Hey, it's another progress report. We're here in Franklin, Massachusetts to talk about air quality instruments. So I'm here with Mike Nemergut. He's our general manager in the air quality instruments area of the business. Mike, we've had a long history of innovation in air quality instrumentation and detecting really tough things for our customers. Tell us about some of the uh, more recent hurdles that we've helped them overcome. A good example would be the development of our Mercury Continuous Emissions Monitoring System. Back uh, around 2005, the US EPA set out and uh, proposed regulations requiring the control of mercury emissions from all coal-fired power plants in the United States. So we embarked upon a pretty significant development program led here in Franklin. We're able to develop a continuous emissions monitoring system that could handle this very complex flue gas matrix while also meeting the very stringent US EPA performance requirements. And as a result of that, you know, we were able to file four patents and after four or five years of operation, uh, we're seeing very good performance in the field. So that's smokestack monitoring. Talk about the other range of technologies and applications. We serve three primary markets. The first market is what we call ambient air monitoring. This is really urban air quality monitoring. These are the monitoring networks that are established around the world for looking at the baseline pollution levels that the average citizen would be exposed to. And we provide individual analyzers, calibration equipment, as well as turnkey, complete air quality monitoring stations. What are the other types? We spoke about source, and it's, you know, source goes beyond mercury. It's looking sure. at the acid rain constituents, SO2, NOx. The third area is what we call industrial hygiene, which is um, predominantly worker safety monitoring. If I'm in a uh, petrochemical plant and I'm exposed to potentially hazardous chemicals, mm -hmm. I can have a personal monitor, uh, whether it be particulate or toxic gas related. And one of our very innovative programs, we've developed a handheld battery operated portable instrument that can be worn by an underground coal mine worker and measure the real time dust that that individual is being exposed to. With this real time device I can now instantaneously, if I'm exposed to an exceedingly high concentration of coal dust, I can get to a safe area immediately. So where do you see things over the next uh, five to ten years? We're certainly under a lot of uh, air quality threats. We're entering a period of unprecedented regulatory actions here in the U.S starting with the coal mining applications that we talked about earlier, but there's a number of regulations coming out of the U.S. EPA focused on greenhouse gas monitoring in the support of climate change programs here in the U.S. and globally. There's new programs focused on uh, heavy metal and hazardous air pollutants coming out of large stationary sources such as power plants. Right. We are moving more into process emissions monitoring applications. Right. So in addition to providing, say, a power plant with compliance emissions monitoring, uh, measurement capability. We're now providing them with process emission measurement capability, which gives them a, a, a immediate economic incentives to our customers by helping them optimize their, their current processes around, around pollution reduction. Thanks for watching. Explore all our air quality instrument solutions at thermoscientific.com/aqi.